How's it going, everybody? So, um, this is a video I never in my wildest dreams uh, thought I would ever be making. Um, I've been working on this for about a week, trying to figure out how to go about even doing this, because uh, uh, this is absolutely very difficult to try to do. Um, I'm smiling only because this this one sucks. Um, so I didn't want to do this live because I wanted to make sure that what I say is exactly what I'm wanting to say and uh, I don't want to mess the way I, I, I say it or, or the, the way that it's done. So I've written it down. So if you see me looking down and back up, it's because I'm trying to stick to this as much as possible uh, so that this comes out the way it needs to, with it being one of the most delicate videos I've ever done, and I need to make sure that it's done correctly. So um, as I got into the convoy, my channel took a drastic turn. Originally, the channel was for truckers and, you know, giving tips and tricks about things on the road. And that was really what I was trying to go with. And then I got into the convoy and I realized I kind of wanted to change that into giving people a place to hang out with me in the truck while I was going through the convoy and, you know, just creating a place where you're not judged, it's not, you know, really anything other than just come hang out and enjoy the convoy with me. And I succeeded in that. And I ended up getting a lot of people who over the years have stuck with me and I've grown really close to a lot of people that I've never even met in real life and some that I have had that opportunity uh, to meet and of course I've grown even closer to them. Um, since the convoy, uh, the channel has taken many different turns. You know, I really didn't know what I was going to do with it, how I was going to deal with it. You know, we've tried a lot of different things. Uh, you know, and then there for a while, it was completely out when I lost my daughter. And um, so it's it's taken a lot of different twists and turns. Um, however, it's always remained a place where no matter how long it was out or what was going on, people would always come back and hang out. You know, I mean, and that's a real testament to the effect that it had on a lot of people. Um, one of the things that makes my channel unique, and I, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I would like to think that one of the things that makes my channel completely different than anyone else's is it's a hundred percent honest and true to my life at the time. Good, bad, suicidal, uh, it's all a hundred percent real. It's no bullshit no faking it. It's all completely what's going on at that point in time in my life. This isn't a video where I say, hey, watch me build a rocket and I'm going to launch it the fuck off. No. This is what's happening in my life all the time. Whether, whatever it is. But I've never tried to come off as anything other than this is what is actually happening. I've said many times that this channel has helped me through a lot more than I believe I've probably done for anyone else other than just giving them a place to hang out. But I've gotten a lot of support. And so, you know, when you continue to do something like that, you, you begin to develop a reputation. And uh, one of the things that everybody knows about me is that I don't ever ask for money unless there's something I'm trying to work towards. Um, you know, originally we were looking at, at doing this uh, just do a thing, and that may still go down. I don't know yet. Um, it's just a matter of kind of trying to place it and 
I don't know, whatever, we'll see how it goes out. But the last time I legitimately was trying to raise money was for Jay. And there was no hesitation. Everyone knew that whatever was donated would be going to Jay. And not only did I keep you informed of what was going on, but then I ended up sending it um, to him live so that you could see that this is what we raised and then you could actually see uh, that he got it. You know, and again, that is continuing to keep my reputation and my honesty up front. I'm not trying to play slide of hand with anyone. Uh, this isn't a money channel. It never has been. You know, it's just one of those things. The reason I'm explaining this is because I have built my reputation on those models. Be truthful, be honest, don't bullshit people. You know, it's, you can see it if you're full of shit. You can generally see that and be like, you know, this is crap. And, we'll, you know, people will generally move on when that happens. Um, the people that have watched this know that. And, um, and I honestly believe that that's a big reason why I don't have a lot of people that follow me. But those who do have been with me for the most part since the convoy got going and um, you know there have been some losses and some gains but for the most part you know everybody's pretty much been here and knows who I am and what I'm about and and I've gotten that reputation and I value that reputation a lot that is something that I hold near and dear I don't take it for granted um, and I try to make sure that I don't do anything or allow anything in my life that could jeopardize my reputation so uh, my view is if someone is taking time in their lives to watch me or hang out they deserve my full attention and so uh, I try to bring that to the videos when I do that and I try to make sure that I don't ever disrespect anybody when I'm on my channel even if I don't agree with what they've said I will generally try to answer it in a way, unless it's just blatantly ignorant, then I'll come out and say it. But for the most part, even if you don't have the same view I do, that's that's okay, you know, and I'll take that. I don't mind talking to people with different points of view as long as they're willing to talk to me. And again, this is all part of who I've tried to be on the channel and off the channel so that there's never like oh wow you're you're not like this when you're doing the videos no i'm the exact same person i am if we meet in real life as i am here nothing will ever change and anyone that has met me will tell you i'm the exact same person um all of this uh brings me to the point of this video uh when you work at something, I think we're going on three years now, somewhere in that neighborhood. So when you work on something for that long and keep something going that long and you develop that reputation, you sometimes have to make decisions that are extremely difficult, personal, and something that you, you legitimately don't want to do. But if I want to remain who I am as a, a person who has that reputation of holding the, those values that I hold, then, you know, sometimes you have to cut ties with other people in order to remain that person and do it with a level of truth and dignity that you can look yourself in the mirror and then speak with other people and, and feel like it was the right thing to do. Uh, you're either solid in your values uh, or you're not. There's not really an in-between. You know, you either believe in something 100% or you don't. But if you start doing a bunch of flip-flopping, again, this is very noticeable and people are going to catch on to that. And I don't want to be that guy. I really don't want to be that guy. And I'm not going to start now. So I realized that's almost 10 minutes of talking. But I needed all of that to be understood.
so that as this part comes, hopefully you're gonna be able to understand the whys. I've been receiving an enormous amount of emails, uh, messages, and even some phone calls uh, about Travel Fund 69. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, he has allowed one of his mods to absolutely annihilate his channel, his personal life, friendships, uh, and that should never, ever, ever happen. You know, the people that have supported you and been there with you, those are the people that you hold on to dearly. Uh, again, if not for the amount of respect I have for the people who have contacted me, uh, I would have probably dismissed this. However, the people that have contacted me, I, I value, um, they're very honest, real people, and the biggest thing is that other than one person that has contacted me, I actually know all of these people personally. So, again, when you have that level of trust and communication with someone and it becomes several someones and then it expands even beyond that to you know, people that you've known via online or the channel, you know, for a long time. You you have to trust that, you know. Um, the last time I decided to ignore a lot of people that I value and trust, um, I ended up going back with y'all know who. And that was a gigantic, gigantic, enormous mistake on my behalf. I won't do that again. And that's kind of how I feel this situation is. Um, I'm making this video because I don't want there to be questions in the dark. Anyone can watch this and see exactly what I have or have not said. Uh, I've looked up to Travel Fund 69 since the day we met in Hagerstown. Uh, he has been a support system for me. Um, and an inspiration as to what you need to do and how you need to be in order to become successful doing this type of thing. So, to make this video understand is absolutely heart-wrenching. Um, again, unfortunately, he has allowed one person to unhinge everything that he's done. Uh, this person insults, belittles, and degrades people that I deeply care about. And Travel Fun is allowing that to happen. And I feel that by supporting him, I'm supporting his decisions that he makes. You know, and I, I can't do that. I, I just can't. Um, again, the, the people that he's allowing this person to just treat like crap uh, are very special to me. And I'm not willing to not say something or stand up for them. They deserve a voice, and I need to be that voice. I'm not a coward, and I won't back down from anyone. Uh, many of y'all have seen me jump out of my truck <laughs> because I am that guy. If you decide you want to jump, fucking jump. You know, I, I'll, I'll meet you face to face. No problems. Uh, I want those who watch me to know just how much I truly value their friendship, their time, and their dedication to allowing me to be part of their life. Uh, I won't take that for granted, and I'll not allow anyone to treat these people as anything less uh, than with what they deserve, the respect they deserve.
deserve. Uh, again, this, this channel has helped me through hell and back. And so my values are honesty and all I have for me. So I'll fight to keep them. And I also will fight for those who should have someone that's got the reach to let him know this is not okay. This has to stop. Uh, he's infected with a cancer, basically, that's killing him and those around him. I truly pray that he'll remove this cancer and get back his dignity and self-respect. And should he decide to do that, um, I would hope that he would start to repair the hurt that he's caused. But until then, I have to distance myself from him. I don't need that cancer in my life. I don't want that cancer in my life. And so I, I have to I have to make this known. I want to end this uh, with a positive note. Uh, he has been the person that I've looked up to, and he could be again. He has simply lost his way, and God knows I've been there. I've made horrible decisions at times, and people have given me a second chance to make things right. And so I believe everyone deserves that. I am not perfect by any far stretch of the fucking imagination. Not even close. But when that many people point out that there is a real problem, if you ignore them, then you're basically saying they don't have that value in your life that you pretend they do on your channel. everyone who has taken the time to watch this entire video I don't want there to be any confusion as to what I have said or my desire for his future I don't hate him I don't wish him ill will I wish him only the very best I simply don't want to involve myself my channel or my friends on the channel in his current endeavors it's not healthy and it's going in a way that does not align with who I am. This video has not been easy for me to do and I have been trying my best to come up with a way to present this so that it shows what I'm trying to convey and it doesn't alter that thought. I feel like I owe it to him as a human being and as a person that has been a very large part of my life for the past almost, what, two years or two and a half years, whatever. So I owe it to him to be able to see this and know exactly what I've said. There's no need to have rumors. He doesn't need a little voice in his ear to say, oh no, he actually said this, this, and this behind your back. No, sir. I have spoken with no one about this. Absolutely nobody knows that this video was going to happen. This is something that has been in my heart and I felt like it was time and I needed to do it. Again, let there be no doubt. I absolutely love and admire Travel Fund 69 as if he were my own family. So this isn't a fuck him, fuck his life, I hope he goes and fucking runs. That is not at all what this is about. It's just simply about his decisions right now are not conducive to my own values and I can't go along with that and I truly truly pray to God that maybe he'll see this and take a second and just think about it I imagine he'll probably be pretty pissed right out the gate 
I can understand that too. But this isn't a video to piss him off or degrade him in any way. This is a video saying, please, please stop. Stop the insanity because you're on a shitty roller coaster and you're crashing not only yourself, but the people that have ridden with you for a long time. You've allowed this cancer to hurt people that don't deserve it. Now, he might be able to affect other people, but I can assure you, this guy can't do shit to me because I don't give a fuck. You know that, and everyone that watches me knows that. This channel is nothing more than enjoyment for myself and for those that hang out with me. So there's really nothing he can threaten me with because I don't fucking care. If for some reason you want to talk, maybe you want to talk this shit out because you're not seeing it. Fucking call me, dude. Call me. You know, I'll fuck. I mean, hell, you, you called me when my daughter died. You called me through a lot of other shitty things that I've been through and, you know, tried to say, hey, it's cool. It'll get better. And trust me, I don't go ignoring that or forgetting that because I don't. But dude, this has got to be a reality check for you, man. I know the type of shit that's going on with you and I'm not going to put that out there because it doesn't need to be. But I also know that this isn't who you are, man. You're, you're just so fucking deep in, I don't think you truly appreciate the gravity of the effects that it's having on so many people, including myself. Man, this is the last thing I'd ever want to fucking do. It's killing me. But somebody has to say it and let you know, man, that you're really, really messing up. I love you, Travel Fun. I really do. And I always will. And I hope that this isn't the end-all, be-all. I really, I really don't. I, I don't want it to be that way. I'll always absolutely love you like my own brother, man. Uh, we've been through a lot. But until you can stop this, man, I can't, I can't attach myself to promoting it. Because then that says that I, too, agree with things that you're allowing to have happen in your life. And I just, I can't. I just can't, man. That's not who I am and that's not who I'll ever be. And although, no, I don't have any major effect on your channel or anything else, I am someone, just like many other someones, who legitimately care but can't watch you kill yourself and others anymore. You've lost a lot of people, man. I don't know if you even realize it, but you're losing a lot of people that legitimately looked up to you and cared about you. And, and you're allowing this guy to, to, to do that and to continue to do that. It's time, man. You gotta stop this and you're the only one that can do it. Cut the cancer out and start making things right. It's time, man. Again, if you want to talk to me, you know anytime you call, I answer the phone. Even if you want to yell and scream at me, it's fine. I don't care. You can do that. You have that right. And, and I'll totally take the call and I'll let you get it off your chest. Whatever it's going to take to help you get you back, I'm down for, man. But start making these steps, man, before it's all gone. It's not worth it. Remember who you are, man. Remember back how you got going. You weren't always the big Travel Fun 69. At one point, you were not shit Travel Fun 69. It took a lot of heart and a lot of dedication to get you where you ended up. Don't forget.
forget that. It's 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 huge. You don't need one thing to ruin it all. I'll be in Canada in December. If you want to talk face to face and yell and scream at me then or whatever you want to do, man, I'm down. I'll come and meet you on my own. No cameras, no bullshit, just us. And we can talk this shit out. We can do this any way you want, man. Whatever it's going to take to get you back, I'm down for. But you got to make some effort. You just have to. Because this shit is just absolutely beyond reproach, bro. At any rate, this is uh, this has actually went a lot longer than I had intended it to. I, I really, again, I, I hate that this has come to this, but there's a lot of you that already understand more than some others may, and that's fine, but I don't want to get into it as far as naming people or any of that. That's not what this is about. For those who've been hurt, and for the person who knows who he is that is ruining Jeff's life, you can ask Jeff for my number. I don't give a shit. I'll talk to you personally. Shit, I'll come and see you. I am that guy, bro. I don't back down and I don't scare. But you're ruining his life. And his life has a lot of value and meaning to the rest of us. So from all of us who care about him let him go move the fuck on ruin somebody else's life there's probably a lot of people out there that deserve to have their life ruined but he's not one of them he used to have a lot of values and a lot of love in his heart for a lot of people and you've destroyed that it's time to leave him alone and let him regain that back so Again, I'm sorry this was such a long video, and I'm sorry I had to make this video, but it, it was time. So again, there's no need for pretending I said something. You can watch this over and over and see exactly what I've said. So if he tries to say any bullshit other than what you hear right now, it's fucking bullshit. You can call me at any time. I love you, Travel Fun. I really hope you understand this and I love everybody that's taking the time to watch this 